It's Melinda and Alexis. Alexis, and we're here to, to, today to do some jelly printing. We're here to play with. You might have noticed a few videos ago. Yeah, like yeah, like cool videos. Cool videos, yes. Um, went to Daiso and bought some of these in Melbourne. In Melbourne, Mummy went for for the e day holiday, and Mum bought some really cool stuff. We're going to use today. Exactly. And there's also a copy of these things. So there's three of these, like these were silicon, I think, things you put your coffee mugs on. There was and this doily that I've cut a piece off and I've also cut out. And there's up, also this from the middle. That's from the middle. We've also got this one I've cut out of a big rectangle um, plastic tablecloth and yep. I've also cut off the border as well. And you might have seen in another sped up video with bin jelly printing and we have our circle jelly plate and the square jelly plate so yeah that's what the original one looked like we have a circle in our square today i'm going to use the circle mum's going to use the square because it's the, the messiest <laughs> yeah the square one's our oldest one yeah so we thought we'd do some prints and experiment we've experimented a little with these um plastic thingies we bought but not much okay so i'm going to use some blue paint and some red, and then hopefully I'll get some I'm purple gonna, happening. And I'm going to use some olives. So we're just using really cheap acrylic paints that we've got in Australia. That mum's had a long time. Yes, some of these have been in my stash for a while. So they're only like the ones you pick up in Australia for 2 or $3. Um, and this one won't even come out. That's always handy. Oh, yep. I'm going to have a problem in a minute. With too much paint going everywhere. You're right, squeezing that one out. Some of them, as you can see, Alexis is squeezing and squeezing. And some of them are very... Um, Hard to get out because this is the oldest paint Mum's had, I think. Will we admit where that paint's from? That paint was from my retail shop. And I closed my retail shop when Alexis was one year old. <laughs> and how old are you? I'm eight now. So you can do the math. I won't admit to how long... Um, it's been closed for. Closed for. So time to do some of the bath. Yeah, Mum has a whole entire box that's right behind the tripod, don't you? Yes, we've got a whole entire tri bit, so I used to use a lot of these paints in my classes. Whoops. Oops. Sorry if you can hear a bit of water in the background, I've got my dishwasher going and we're working on our kitchen bench, which our dishwasher is right below our kitchen well, bench. Well, it's actually right in front of me. Yes, it's right in front of Alexis. So if you hear bipping, I oh know it's on. Sometimes she stands there and she'll bip it. Um, so with these plastic tablecloths, they have a right and a wrong side. They have like a flat side and then they have like an embossed bumpy it's side. Talking. Yes, it's a talking video, Alexis. So we're not going to speed this video up. Yes, I know I talk a lot. So I'm going to put it down, bumpy side down, and see how we go. Uh, I did somewhere I shouldn't have. I'm only doing on half the one. That's right. Here. I can... Any part of that line. Just stick that bit of paper there and leave it there until you're finished and then you get the half. Yeah, can I actually roll you onto can roll it? Onto it. Well, I'm doing a funny technique. I'm going to do just a half of it in paint. So this is just. Um, you are. This is just copy paper that I'm. You just copy paper. You got paint on me. I'm so far together. I know, we've had to put the jelly plates together to um, fit them film. in the screen. You might have seen on one of our last videos we were talking about when we used the jelly plate. We had them about a centimetre apart. We had them a bit more. I'm finding if I actually take my roller, and this one's a bit of a silly roller, it doesn't roll properly, um, and so press down on the back. That's right, when you print with your bit of paper, I'll get you a new bit of paper because I'm going to goof all over it. Just put a bit of paper, a fresh bit of paper down there. Trouble? You're having trouble. Whoops. You're having trouble. I just went on to Alexis' jelly plate right now, my apron. So I find sometimes with more intricate prints, if you take your roller and roll over the top of them with a fairly clean roller, um, you can actually get a bit more of a decent impression. So I'll just show you this one. Okay. I'll, okay. So this is. Where's my camera angle? So this is the print that I've taken off the top through using this like a stencil and you get a fairly good fairly good print 
what I'm going to do is remove this. And because it's got paint on it, you can actually, and you're not going to be able to see me do that. Because So what I'm going to do is take this out of the wet paint like you take a stencil and actually push it onto some paper. Just using regular photocopy paper. And we've also got some, whoops. Yes, you want some paper. We've got some paper, old paper from some of my old colouring books. Yes, we're using some of Alexa's old colouring books to just um, roll off our brayer and also adds a bit of texture in the background. And uh, I'm doing here, I've used one of these and I'm putting it on the painty side. Now I'm going to put a bit of paper over it. So this moved a bit and I'm just wondering if you can see... I'm trying to get the camera angle. Um, and I'm sorry if this is upside down. I'm not sure whether I'm going to flip this video or not. No, we're not because it's up the right way. So yeah. This is very light. This is taken off the plastic um, the plastic that was sitting on the jelly plate. And I rolled it and it's moved a little, but I do like the effect. What we might do is actually take all our prints from today and do a closer flick through of them. Uh, yeah, like day. we did last time with our video, because we, Mum put it four times as fast because it went for an hour. Yes, so today, we didn't set the timer. Oh, aren't we silly? Okay, I'll go set my timer. We're going to set the timer for about 20 minutes, so. Yeah, and here, you saw me do uh, one of these on it, and now I'm doing the big reveal. You see I've got half of it with a circle, but now... I'm going to take this painty circle and stamp it on the other yep. side. Do you want to move your paper up here so they can see? There on we the go. other side? They can, oh, Let's go for the side. I can sort of see. Yeah. So we found these silicon um, coasters are a bit thick to push your paper through. Yeah. Um, but and they see were. See, I had the white effect. I pushed it down. Now if I take it off. Ooh, put my paper too long. Um, yes. Look what I've got. Oh wow. So these ones, these are what we call silicon coasters, work. We've got a bit of a big shadow, sorry. Um, work really well as like a stamp and then you get a really cool image um, in to the when you squish it into the paint. I can't talk today. So this is the print I've taken off using the large sheet. It's almost like a cathedral arch. So this one moved a little when I was using it. Um, so it's a bit more fuzzy. You talk too much. What's well, a talking video? Otherwise they sit there in silence. Do the audience want to sit there in silence? Well, yeah, and I've printed again and it's got sort of like a stripey texture this time with the fly one. That has. So I think these thicker ones are going to work better as prints, as um, like stamps. I'll go and hang this up. Let's try that actually. We've actually got the clothes horse at about five feet away and we're hanging all our jelly prints on. We are. We've borrowed our clothes horse. What I might do is use my jelly plate as a palette. Oh, that's got paint on it. Let's get paint off that. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do, Alexis? I'm going to do now some olives. If I could get some out. <laughs> what I thought I'd do is if... I'm running out of desk space here at the moment. Oh yeah, if I can do it in front of here. So what I might do is I might take this... this silicon um, coaster that we got and I'm going to apply the paint directly. I'm going to use my jelly plate as a palette and just roll it out. I think. And roll this on top. I'm hoping you can sort of see this over here. Is that enough? Yeah, that looks like enough. Are you going to do half again, Alexis? Yes. But this time, as you saw before, I did half, but I'm doing a different half this time. What I might do is just move my jelly plate out of the way for a minute while I do this. Okay, I've decided we need a bit of I'm going to do my yeah. half, so I'm going to count the roller. Roll it, yeah, it's just got blue on it. Hang on, two seconds, Alexis. So I'm just rolling paint straight from my jelly plate onto this, and then I'm going to use it as a stamp, and I've got to get this. Uh, it's got blue paint all over it, just two seconds, Alexis. I don't care if it's got blue paint. I don't care if it's got blue paint. There we so, go. With my half, with all my blotches, I'm 
I'm just going to roll it carefully so it's all blotchy. Are you going to? You don't need that. Now, I'm going to do with this white bit of paper, I'm going to go over it and press down. We'll be able to put something on top of it. Oh, and if then I just do the opposite half with the remainders of the blotchiness, I have a double blotchy. You have a double blotchy. Cool. Mm. So this one I've actually applied the paint directly to the rubber, but I think it looks like it's got a right and a wrong side, and I think I did on the wrong side. One side looks a bit flatter than the Mommy, other. Let's try that again. Which side do I do this? The, you said there's a white right side oh, and a wrong No, that's side. baking paper. That's either side. The either side, either okay. Side. So I might try this again. This is the right side. I'll take this and stamp. It might roll over. So make sure when you roll it is you do hold it down because it can move. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a bit prettier. Look at that one, Alexis. I'll hold that one up and show everyone. So it's not a perfect print, but it is nice texture. So they'll be nice texture stamps, those ones. And with this one, I've been stamping. I've actually got some texture. Mum, I've got some texture because of all that block sheets. Oh, you have and to. if you see through the back, actually, you can't quite see it in the camera, but mum, look, you've got stripy texture. Oh, wow. You've actually got stripy texture. That's pretty. It's, you can't, it's not quite seeable in the camera. What one are you, <coughs> excuse me, what one are you going to do next? Ooh, and I know what to do. Whoops, that's probably a bit too I'm going to do another colour of the olive, but I need that as well. You need olive as well. Uh, where's your thing? Do you want me to roll it I down? I just want it like right? from there to there across the bottom. Bottom half. No, 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 not the bottom half, just along the edge. Oh, along the edge, okay. Along the edge, so where those... I think the where those this dogs. paint might be finished up, Alexis. Yeah, like that. Oops, that's probably a bit too much, but yeah. that paint's now empty. I'll throw it in a bit. Uh, so now we've emptied our first paint. The actual, it's kind of greeny, but it's actually called olive. Bye-bye, painty. One <laughs> paint tube down. A hundred more to go. Oh, there's not a hundred in the box. I'm just looking for some paper to roll off on This red primary. This is, now I'm going to use a primary blue. On mine with my olive, I'm going to do like... Okay, now I've got a base down here. I'm actually going to... Are you going to flip this video? No. This Good. one's going to be the right way up. Well, you usually... mean this way up? Yes, this way up, the right way up. Great, because I actually did it on the side then because I want it to look like a rainbow. Yes, usually we film upside down. I have to flip them in YouTube because that's just the way the tripod but goes. But we're doing it this the doing right, the right way. way up. Okay. So I'm going to try... actually, in the camera, it looks like a rainbow, but it's actually just like a smile. An so, upside down rainbow. It is. So this time I'm going to try this thinner ta uh, this thinner placemat. I actually cut the centre out of it and have been using that. And this is sort of the off cut of it. So I'll get a bit of paper. Sure, I want a bit of thin. Can I you pass me the roller paper, color. Alexis? Pass me the roller paper there. I okay, I'll get it myself. Hang on a minute. Okay. So this in Australia is the closest I've found to deli paper. Excuse me while I tear it off the roll. It's actually grease proof paper from Safeway or Woolworths. I'll get used to calling it all this one day. Yeah, you can use that one. And then I'm done with the paint for that. Yellowy. Now I'm going to use this art colours. This one's called Yellowy Green. Isn't it, Mum? Yellow Green, yes. So this is um, close to a kind of paper in Australia. It's got a shiny side and a plain side, so just make sure you put your, the, the non shiny side to the paint because it works a bit better. So you can see I've got that coming through. So. This one you get a little bit of a print through the stencil. And with the yellowy green, I'm going to 
green. As you can see in the camera, it's really bright. It has the greeny, but then it has the yellow together. Okay, so, yes. So what I'm going to take is take my wet stencil off and stick it on a bit of paper. You Again, Mum, Yes. you haven't got much aqua left. No, I like some of the colours. Yeah, Ooh, Mum's been pretty. using aqua much. Yeah, some of the colours I've used lots and I like. I, and, that's pretty, look. Yeah. And in the camera... So this one Mom, is the print that I just lost on the floor. Uh, in the camera... <laughs> hey, Sorry. I'm laughing. I'm talking. Sorry. Uh, in the camera, it, it actually looks like a rainbow on the top half. Oh, it does. Now I'm going to get this roller. It's supposed to go like that, Mum. Oh, sorry. Mum just placed it the wrong side down on the table. Now I've got paint on it. That's right. I cleaned the table later working on our kitchen bench. Um, As so, you said before. Yes. So this is the print from the wet stencil. And now I'll take a print off the jelly plate. If you saw me off camera, I've got a pile of prints and I've got a pile of stuff. And I'm getting in quite a bit. Um, oh, that's pretty, Alexis. I need someone to do. Okay. I I'll roll that off in a minute. I actually moved it out so it doesn't quite look like a rainbow anymore. No, that's going to do some nice texture. And I'm going to use this. Mum, what should I use? This fish? You can use the fish. Or the mermaid. I like the fish and then we could use some of the yeah, fish. Yeah, the fish. So this one has actually taken the print. Um, it's not as clear as using a stencil because the design is quite fine but it's a lovely texture. Now I'm moving the paper a little bit like one, two, three, four way. And so if I take it off I have a perfect background olive rainbow. Oh that's pretty Alexis. See? I've actually twisted it and now it looks like a rainbow with an olive sky. It does look like a rainbow with an olive and sky. And it still looks like that on there. I think I put a bit too much olive. Well, That's you right. put it. Do you want to do some on this nice clear paper? Yeah. Just put the, this is the one that has the two sides, so the shiny side goes up, remember? Okay. Yeah, it's a bit hard because they both look the same without sunlight. Yes. Like the light, because we're actually working right under one. Aren't we, Mum? Yes. What am I going to do? Some more blue and purple. So now I'm going to press it in. The bottom half has got nothing on it at all. Ah, you got blue on me. Oh, sorry. That one's very old, so it squirts a lot. Yeah. Some of these paints, um, well, this one won't even come out the top. I'll have to clean it before our next session. Um, cool. Cool. This one's awesome. Watch. It's just like the other one, but better. Oh, that's cool. You'll probably get a third print out Rainbow right? on this. Wow. Look, hey, Alexis. Put it down a bit. What if... Yeah, I forget where it the camera is. It looks cool at the sky. What if we then printed it up here and it'd be like a mirror image? What? And here, turn your paper around. Mm -hmm. i just got to be careful. And line it up this way. Yeah. And press it down again. See how that... Yeah, that's sort of land off. It takes yep. a bit off. And then you're going to have a mirror. Whoa, sort of mirror. Sort of Ooh, mirror. keep that up. Yeah, I know. It's already got blue on it. Now, yeah. we've got a mirror. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? What does that remind you of, Alexis? A sort of sun. Because it does. it's both sides. And look, sun. there's more paint and here. Blue, blue dots are actually the rays. Oh, and yeah. the aqua is the sky. That's clever. You've got lots of paint there. Do you want to stick that down? I think Mum put a bit too much on me. Probably, yeah. I wanted to use heaps of colour. That's all right. You can do a rainbow on the next one. Oh, that'll look cool with the rainbow. Oh, well, this is cool. You actually have some striped texture. Ah. Look, you can see the stripes like a zebra. That is cool. Do you want me to get the rest of the paint off that? So yes, you can do another please. one. So we'll just whack this down again. Oh, I know what I want to use this time. Where's that cloth? Ah, ah, ah. Uh oh, when Alexis gets like that, she's getting dangerous with the paints. She's very creative. She's just checking our timer. If we don't get to do as many prints in this video, That's we'll it. come back with another video. Yes. Doing some more because we just love. We jelly love jelly printing. printing. The only problem is we're getting a huge pile of jelly prints. We have to start using them. So this is a border I cut off 
um, the side of the big rectangle sheet. So what I'm going to do is just, just press this. I just want to do red, orange, yellow, green, blue. You can do that. Now I'm going to do a sort of ring, but I'm going to use red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Beautiful. Um, where's that catalyst tool? The, the like you know the chunky brown thing. You could scrape some designs into it. That was all cool. that. Is that in the box or is that no, in the craft room? No, no, no. That's, that's in your shop slash craft room slash messy spot like a pigsty. Excuse me? Someone's calling my craft spot a pigsty. Well, it sort of is at the moment. You have too many crafts though. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Look, Alexis. That's like lace. And you say Ooh. your friends always say you can never have too much craft stuff. You can never have too much craft stuff, but I. With a business, I tend to have a bit more. I'm actually looking at starting classes in my local area, so I've been picking up extra cheapy things when I've had a few spare dollars and stockpiling boxes. Is that enough boxes. red? That's enough red. Okay. I've done this red. It's actually called Crimson Cool, and mm. it's, a, it's acrylic. And next I'm going to use another acrylic one called Yellow Orange. So that's the ghost print. That's it's, really nice. This is yellow orange like I used before except it's yellow green. I might do another one of these. I like this one. And I might try to So I've done line some red up. here. And I've done some red there. And then I'm going to do some orange. I dropped the lid of the paint in the floor. Orange, just Oh, that's orange. very bright, that orange, Alexis. That's a yeah, fluoro orange. Yeah, very bright. And it's acrylic. So you can see we're using a whole different sorts of bottles and tubes yeah. and things. They're all picked up. Because we've got these big and then we've got this. It's yellow and it's also acrylic, kind of acrylic. I think it's just called yellow because it really doesn't say what it's called on here. No, some of them are yellow. Um, So they're all acrylic based and it's just stuff I picked up for a dollar at Ooh. clearance or... I think particularly this one. dry paint just splashed off that. That's right. Dry paints are right on the floor. This one's from the reject shop, I think. These ones are Montmark oh, in Australia. Did you have this at your shop? <laughs> oh, oh, this one's a bit thicker, Alexis. I only want a little bit like a line across ways. Like that? Yeah. Okay. I've used that red. It's very hard to come out. And now I'm going to use another acrylic. But this time it's green. I seem to be using all the acrylics because the blue one just about to use after I've got this open. Can you get that one open? No, I'll just have to do it from here. Just be very careful because it might come out really fast from there. I'm going to do it from the top. This is an acrylic. I might just knock these down. Uh, yeah, yeah, look. Is that too much? Do you want me to... Yeah. Um... Are you using some green? No, but hey, let's chuck some green on mine. Why not? That didn't really work. She <laughs> didn't get early. Oh, that's a big... Actually, they'll go in the bin. That's a big hard block. Oh. Now I've got green all over. Now I'm also using acrylic paint. This time it's primary blue. You know, and I, I love to jelly print because I want to use my poor mum's old paint so you can buy new colours. Yes. We've, um, I said to Alexis, we might not buy any more paint colours till we use some of the ones we've got. Until we've got at least a quarter of the box at, at left, and you don't want to see Mum's a paint box. It's wor it's worse than a craft room. It is. So you have to tell everyone we've got a messy paint box because yeah. I can't see it, so they might think it's all nice and neat. And uh, it's actually very messy. I have a hard time finding colours. So I'm just gently pressing this into the paint, and then I'm going to give it a print on. I think my roller you might paper. have to hang up two of them, Mum. Yeah, I have to hang up some of my prints. Yeah. Well, we've got probably five minutes left on this video, and then we'll, we'll finish up this print, and I'll finish up yeah. mine, and then we'll do another one. I think we'll keep the, the videos at about 20-25 minutes because that's yep. about my attention span. Watching a video, whoopsies, stucky together is. That. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know whether you can see that. It's hard to see what you're seeing in the viewfinder because it's so small and far away from me. So we might pick all our favourite prints and do a flip through 
like we did last time of the Prince Yeah, Luna. we only picked our favourite. Oh, wow. That's going to look awesome, Alexis. I've actually used to with the rainbow and now I'm just like lightly tapping or maybe hard tapping everywhere so it looks like it's been all mixed. I think I did a tinsy bit too much red. So I've just shown you the ghost print what I got from this piece of lace. So this is... Nice. Mom, can I just put that over here? Yes, I'm around. not going to put any more paint down for this video. I'm going to get rid of some of these prints. In Look! Oh, wow. Look. Isn't that cool? I need another one to do. That is rather cool. I like that. Show that one to the camera. Show it's... both of them. Alexis, this is just rolling <laughs> off Alexis's brayer. What I've seen is a few people roll off on top and on top, but we do it on separate sheets because I like to cut these out and use them. Mm. We're just no, using Alexis's a piece of paper, a normal one, and no as opposed to an abnormal piece of paper. <laughs> a normal piece of paper. Photocopy print. Photocopy paper. Yes. Oh, that's got ink all over it. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put the final reveal. <laughs> We're getting a bit silly, Alexis. I know, but, but this. But this. It's so yeah. cool. It's so cool even when I just roll the brayer off, which it, it's usually the boring part. It is. Of jelly printing. And what I'm just using is putting the piece of off-cut lace from the tablecloth down and using it like a stamp. Yes, Alexis? Abby, put a tinky bit too much paint. Oh, that's okay. Look. Oh, wow, look, it's a rainbow. No, it's... This way off. It's, it's that way. No, no, other way. That way. It's supposed to be at the top. Rainbow. Well, do you want and to I still got the more bay. Okay. Do you want to take another print? Yes, please. Do you want normal, so you normal paper again? Yes. As opposed to abnormal paper. <laughs> okay. I'll just show you while Alexis is giggling. I'll show you. This is. <laughs> this is the piece of um, plastic lace that I pressed into the paint. The dishwasher's hot, is it? Um. And just stamped on the paper. So that is a nice border. Now for the big reveal. Like, this gets a bit silly when she's jelly plating. Oh, but, 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 I like but, that. Look. Isn't that cool? Look. I think I might even get a third print Do if I'm quick. Do you want to third print? So I'm quick, I might get a third. That is awesome. It's so cool. Well, we might go find... I'm going to try a different technique. We, we might go find that catalyst tool, that wedgy thing, and you can scrape it through. That'd be cool to scrape the colours. Now. When we have a break. It's got white in the middle. Oh, I like that. I think that might be my favourite. Look at That's this. That's my favourite too. Look at what Alexis did. Actually, there might be more paint. Fourth print. <coughs> we might get a fourth one. So cool. This time sideways. I actually like this one with the less paint. That I like awesome. that too because it looks like... Someone scraped their claw through it. A tiger. Actually looks like, what does it look like? A rainbow zebra. Oh. <laughs> I made that up there and when you take it off it sort of looks like a zebra. And then mum said a rainbow zebra. It's a rainbow zebra. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's nice I too. like that. That Even is awesome. better. Those two are my favourite. I think they are my favourite. I like the rainbow zebra. This one's got and this no one's cool too. Okay. Some, it's got some paint on some parts. That's right. We'll just grab the extra paint off here. Okay, we might end this video here and we'll start another one and we'll clean up and we'll come and back. I want to do some more rainbow prints. Well, I might go find you that tool and you yeah, can make wiggly yeah, yeah. lines. Okay. We'll bye. say bye for now. Bye. bye. I can't reach the button. <laughs> you can't reach the button. There we go.